Welcome, this is Mrs. Morano. Hi, I'm delighted to make this video due to a special invitation from some fabulous sixth grade teachers who wanted their students to have an art integrated experience while studying the moon. I'm here to show you some drawing techniques and some art. The first part of this experience involves observing and sketching the moon three to five nights in a row. This, this week is supposed to be some special views of the moon and tonight is the full moon. I've heard it's supposed to be a pinkish color. So observe, sketch on anything you have, paper, cardboard, recyclables, um, scraps, whatever you can. Draw the moon in its texture, shadows, and highlights to the best of your ability with pencil, charcoal, whatever you can come up with. White crayon or pastel might be a helpful thing too. You need your highlights and shadows on the moon for sure. I even wore the right shoes to make this video for you. When I was asked to help with this project, this was the book I thought of right away. This is an amazing book and it's a wealth of information. If you have a chance to look through it, please do. The page that stood out to me immediately regarding connecting art and the moon was art and science. Artists have always been fascinated by the moon. Since civilization began, they have reproduced it in carvings, paintings, and drawings. For much of this time, art was closely linked to science. Before the invention of photography, sculpture, drawing, and painting were the only ways to record how things looked. Picturing the moon. The moon was first examined through a telescope around 1608. What a shock those early astronomers had. Instead of a nice shiny face, they saw a grim landscape of mountains and craters. Galileo, who fortunately was a skilled artist, made his dramatic drawings of the lunar surface after examining it with a telescope that magnified 20 times. Some 200 years later, John William Draper obtained the earliest photograph of the moon using a telescope. Millions of photos followed but their precision was limited by the distortion caused by the Earth's atmosphere. It was only when the Russians and Americans rose above the atmosphere that we were finally able to capture our mysterious neighbor close up. Beautiful blend. Five of Galileo's watercolor paintings of the moon were rediscovered only recently. A beautiful blend of art and science they showed its bumpy surface and how sunlight normally illuminates just part of the lunar landscape. I'll show you a closer picture as well.